Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to go about with the Amtrak system. So type in the URL, just double is dash isaps.uitm.edu.my. Once you're in, type in your staff ID as your username and your IC number without the dash as your password. So once you type in, click sign in. So as a, a coordinator, you have a special role as coordinator. So make sure you change your setting first. Click on the arrow here and select MOOC coordinator. Once you made your selection, click on the Amtrak system button. Once you are in, you can check your role here at the side. And then this will be the list of projects. Right? You can check the list here or you can also check the project statistics over here. So if you click on project statistics, Okay, and then you can just click on Mode Progress. You can see all the uh, description, the owner description, and how many pending codes, approve, reject, and so on. So if you want to check it further, you can just click View, and you can see all the codes here. Right, now what I'm going to show you here is to register your MOOC. So first, before registering, make sure you check the code availability. So to do that, click on Check Code Availability. So type in the course code, for example, I'm going to check for this code here. Right, so when I click on that code, you can see that um, the code was uh, developed in 2020 and it is still in the in development stage, right? But let's say if I check another code, right, so this one uh, is ready to publish. So if the code is under development, or in evaluation or it's ready to publish so meaning that you cannot proceed with the uh, uh, registration because the, the code is not available but let's see if I type in a code right, and click search so when it's stated no records found meaning that uh, the code is available and you can proceed with the registration now to register click on register MOOC at the side here type in the course code Right, and then type in the staff ID. Staff ID here is referring to your lead developer. Go right now. You can see that when I type in the course code, if it is MOOC category one, meaning that it comes from um, code be that belongs to MQA accredited programs, it the, the information about the code will automatically appear. Right, because uh, we actually extract the information from the ins, right? And same goes uh, when you type in the lead developer's information here, which is the staff ID, it will automatically read the developer's information, right? And then select the cluster. So for this particular code, it belongs to the science and technology. It's for MOOC 2022. Owner of the MOOC. All right, so this one, you have to refer to the owner of the MOOC, not the code, yeah? So for this one, uh, I'm actually from Faculty of Architecture and this code belongs to Faculty of Architecture, so I'm going to select this one. But let's say you are from um, other campuses, so you are going to be the owner of the MOOC. Now, although, for example, yeah, this code also available in um, Perak, Sri Iskandar, but if you are from Sri Iskandar and you are going to develop the co uh, the code, the owner of the MOOC will be uh, UITM Sri Iskandar, not Faculty of Architecture. Make sure you check this one out. Eh? And then the program code. So you can just type in the program code. This is important and this is actually new. Okay. AP246. Make sure to check the right program code. And then uh, state the number of topics. So how many topics that will be developed? Uh, so let's say in this case, the, the developers informed me that uh, they are going to develop uh, actually eight topics. So remember for MOOC, minimum of 80%. Yeah? In minimum 80% of your course syllabus. So let's say you have uh, 10 topics, so a minimum of eight. But for this particular code, um, they have eight topics and they're going to develop all eight. So once done, click submit. There you go. So once you have clicked submit, it will go under pending MOOC. So it's under 2020. I'm going to take some time, So, but I'm going, it will appear soon. Lah. All right, now let's say if you are going to develop MOOC category 2, which 
uh, there is no course code yeah meaning that it doesn't belong to any programs so what you need to do first to type in the course code i would highly encourage and advise you to create the code for your faculty or campus for example in my case i'm from fsbu so i'm gonna register it under fsbu um, 006 so this is a new uh, code so once i type in uh, the code as you can see it is not allowed uh, because it doesn't exist so i need to create a new one right so once you type in the course code uh, and there's a warning there you click register course right and then type in the course name in Bahasa Malaysia and also in Bahasa English. So I'm going to type it first. Okay, once you type in the course name, select the MOOC owner. So in this case, it's from Faculty of Architecture. Right, and click Save. Okay, so once you click Save, when you type in the course code again, 006, right, as you can see, there's pengenalan kepada perancangan, so meaning that the code is available and you can proceed with the registration. Right, so type in the course code. It will appear here. Type in the staff ID and the same process as per the previous one. Once you've done, click submit. Right, there you have it. That is how to register and also check code availability in the Amtrak system.